Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be rounding up all the pre-order bonuses and other sweet news and I'll make it sound as simple as possible just for you. So, a lot of different pre-order bonuses have been released. Cold Heart, an exotic trace rifle, a kill tracking ghost, and even a fidget spinner. Now, how can you get all of these bonuses? Okay, so if you pre-order the standard version of Destiny 2, the game and expansion version, or digital deluxe edition from the Xbox Store, PlayStation Store, or Blizzard Shop for PC, you will be able to get the Cold Heart Exotic Trace Rifle, the Kill Tracker Ghost, and the Salute Emote. You can only get the Salute Emo by pre-ordering Destiny 2 digitally. And if you pre-ordered Destiny 2 before any of these pre-order bonuses were announced, you will still get your loot. Console players will be able to earn these items on September 6th. For PC players, they will be able to earn them on October 24th. And for on December 5th, for all the players who didn't pre-order the game, they these items will be accessible from December 5th. The Destiny 2 Fidget Spinner is a limited item only available at GameStop in the US if you pre-order the game in store during an only two-day time period, which is coming up very soon on the 29th and 30th of July. If you got the Digital Deluxe Limited or Collector's Edition, you'll also get a sword emblem and emote, plus an expansion pass. Now for something unrelated to pre-ordering the game. If you get Destiny 2 on PS4, there are quite a few exclusives you will get, including the Retribution PvP map, a new Lake of Shadows Strike, three different legendary armor sets, one for each class, the Borealis Exotic Sniper Rifle, and the City Apex Ship. Now here's some new Cold Heart gameplay. <laughs> information on the cold heart the cold heart is created by the Amelon foundry it is an exotic trace rifle and when you shoot you still have to fight the recoil to keep it stable the longer you shoot the gun on a specific target the more damage it does over time and you can still get critical hits with this weapon and it is the only trace rifle in the game but it has the possibility of becoming its own archetype so anyways guys thanks for watching please subscribe for more gameplay and content and i hope to see you all in the very next video.